Hey folks, so I set up a quick demo here just to demonstrate why it's so dangerous to have your generator connected to back feature panel um, without any kind of physical interlock. Uh, so here at my house, um, I have a physical interlock um, that prevents me from turning on my main um, coming into the panel fed out from the grid uh, and the breaker that back feeds my panel uh, simultaneously. I can only have one on at a time unless I disable this physical interlock, which obviously would be a bad idea. But why? Why is that a bad idea? So let's take a look at that. So what I've done here is I have my oscilloscope set up with channel two um, being fed from uh, the grid power um, on a 100 to one probe. And I have the triggering set on that channel. So we have a nice stable sine wave there. And our frequency is right about 60 hertz. It's just bouncing around there. That could even be the scope miscounting it rather than the uh, the waveform actually changing. Uh, and I have channel 1 being fed from this small AC isolation transformer that I scavenged out of this old Radio Shack battery charger um, on just a regular 10 to 1 probe since uh, it's outputting a very low AC voltage. Um, I think it's about I don't know, like 8 volts. So with this setup, what I can do is I can see um, the two sine waves uh, together um, from both the generator as well as my utility feed. And I should add here, so these these uh, these outlets here are completely isolated from the rest of my uh, the rest of my household electric setup. So I can power these outlets when my generator is running, isolated from the rest of my panel. So let me go ahead and flip on channel one. Hmm, okay, well, uh, I think visually you can see pretty quickly why it would be a bad idea if these were powered on at the same time. The generator is coming in and out of phase with the grid power. And the reason is, in this case, I think it's running a little bit over speed. There's probably not a whole lot of load on it yet, but 61 hertz. So it's running uh, a little bit faster than it needs to and it's coming in and out of phase. And you see it actually varies a bit um, as the load changes uh, on the generator. In fact, I can exacerbate that by I have a heat gun here plugged into one of my generator test outlets. And you can see as I turn this on, momentarily it affects it coming in and out of phase with that, uh, that grid current because it's slowing the generator down a little bit and the governor kicks up gives it a little bit more fuel um, and it starts running at the, uh, the RPM that it was running at originally. So if I was to disable my physical interlock and turn that back fed breaker on while my main is on, um, if these two were in phase, if they just happen to be in phase and you see it's coming in and out of phase, um, probably nothing catastrophic would happen. I, I certainly wouldn't recommend it, but I don't believe anything would immediately catastrophically happen. However, if these are out of phase, and as you can see, I mean, it's out of phase most of the time, um, the utility power, the grid power, is going to attempt to immediately pull that generator into phase, which is going to cause all sorts of catastrophic damage. So I, I hope this helps some people visualize uh, this. I, I don't claim to be an expert on generators or AC current, but I, I understand it enough um, that I thought through, hey, this setup would be a good, a good way of demonstrating um, you know, why this is a bad idea visually. I wanted to add the, the other reason why it would be really dangerous uh, to have your generator backfeeding your breaker without some sort of a physical interlock or you know, something to prevent you from uh, dual feeding uh, that breaker is, hey, you know, if, even if your main is on and utility power is down, maybe it's going to be down for, you know, days, I don't know, maybe uh, maybe there's some significant damage to the transmission lines in your area. Uh, the other reason it's still dangerous is because if your main's on, you're, you're backfeeding your own generator power back out into the grid. So there could be utility workers out there that are maybe going through, um, you know, the, the lines that are closer to you, checking everything, making sure everything's set so when they get that issue repaired, and they can bring the grid back online, uh, you can potentially electrocute those, those workers um, you know, out, on, out on the grid. Um, and you know, on top of that, hey, I mean, depending on how your local power distribution network is set up, you might be powering your neighbor's house as well. So just don't do it. 
Uh, if you don't understand how to properly isolate your generator from your main panel, don't connect it that way. Um, hire a professional to come in and either set you up with a transfer switch um, or set you up with some sort of physical interlock so that uh, you know, even if even if you know what you're doing, if another family member is ever going to be operating it and they don't, you know, potentially understand how it's working or could make a misstep, make sure you set your system up that it's basically idiot proof. Thanks for watching.